What is up, Karatex? In this video, we'll be talking about this week's Top Money Event Week as well as the Property and Vehicle Discounts. This event week is for April 18th through April 24th, 2024, and is themed around 420 as they do every year. So, the current prize ride for this week is the Dubachi JB700W. It's primarily based on the Aston Martin DB5 and has a normal price of just under 1.5 million. To get it for free this week, you have to place top four in an LS Car Meet Series race for four days in a row, so a little more of a typical three, but it is a $1.5 million car. In regards to performance, it's in the Sports Classics class and has pretty much identical performance to the regular JB700, but it's not usable in races, obviously being the weaponized variant. Also, just like the regular JB700, it doesn't really offer any visual customization other than the usual paint, color wheels, etc. So keep that in mind. But anyways, continuing to the test ride vehicles for this week, we have the Neon, the iWagon, and the Tesseract as well. And none of these were remove website vehicles, so keep that in mind. And for current gen console users, we have the Cyclone 2 as the HSW test ride vehicle for this week. Continuing to the Casino Podium Vehicle, we have the Coquette D10. This one is primarily based on the Corvette C8 and has a normal price of about $1.5 million. This one's in the Sports class and is slightly above average performing vehicle in the class around most tracks. Now it has a fantastic top speed, but unfortunately it doesn't have that great of acceleration or handling, which is a shame, and that's what kind of makes it struggle in the class a bit, but the customization and styling is fantastic, so there's that. In terms of the dealership cars for this week, in luxury autos we have the recently added Impaler LX and the Karen Astro GZ. Continuing to Simeons, we have the Morgan, the Raiden, the Voltic, the La Cruz, and the Omnis EGT as well. And all of these, except for the last two, were removed website vehicles, so definitely make sure to pick them up this week if you don't already own them. Moving on to the discounts, in terms of property discounts, we have 50% off the biker clubhouses as well as the upgrades and renovations for it as well, plus 50% off the MC businesses and the upgrades for them as well, which is pretty crazy. So if you've ever wanted to get into the MC business, now would definitely be the right time to do so. Continuing to the vehicle discounts, starting off in Simeon's, we have 40% off the Raiden, which again is a remove website car. This one's in a sports class and is a mid-tier performing car in that class. It's pretty fun to drive with decently quick acceleration, but it's not as crazy as it should be. I think this one would greatly benefit from an HSW upgrade to give it a reference to the newer Plaid. But anyways, moving on to legendary motorcycle website, we have 30% off the La Cruz, which is the fastest sports car in the class for track performance with the HSW upgrade. And even without HSW, it's still a top five performing vehicle in that class, and that's due to its great acceleration and handling. Next up, we have 40% off the Omnis EGT. This one is a mid-tier performing car in the sports class. It's pretty slow, which is a real shame, but it is in a Monitech vehicle. It has some pretty good customization, so there's that. Continuing for current gen console users, which is PS5 and Xbox Series X slash S only, we have 30% off the Cyclone 2. This one is the fastest accelerating car in the game with the HSW upgrade, not counting the rocket powered cars, of course. It's just an absolute monster and a ton of fun to drive. Plus it's one of the top three fastest cars in the supercar class for track performance as well. Moving along, we have 30% off the Power Surge. So this one is the fastest non HSW bike in the motorcycles class for track performance. It's just an absolute beast and can wheelie as well. But do keep in mind that it is an electric bike, which I know some of you may not like. So anyways, next up onto the Cyrus and Andreas website, we have 30% off the Obey iWagon. This one's in the SUVs class and is very, very slow. Its top speed with max upgrades is only 94 miles per hour, which is an absolute joke. My friends and I nicknamed it the iSlow instead of the iWagon. Even with this discount, I think it's still way overpriced for what it is. You're better off buying a Toros for only 500000 Moving along, we have 30% off the Chimera. This one is a trike that has some pretty good customization, but these things aren't really my thing. 
And lastly, we have 30% off the Zombie Chopper. This one has great customization. It's pretty nice for those of you who like custom choppers. Moving along to the gun van, we have the following weapons available this week and 30% off the RPG as well. In regards to miscellaneous discounts, we have free motorcycle club abilities this week, which is pretty cool. In regards to free clothing this week, you'll get the green 420 dress, the coil Earth Day t-shirt, and full snacks this week just for logging in. Also, if you complete a biker business cell mission this week, you'll unlock the white high brass t-shirt. And if you complete any short trip mission this week, you'll unlock the black high brass t-shirt as well. Continuing to double money, we have double money NRP on the adversary mode overtime rumble, the Franklin and Lamar short trip missions, weed sales to street dealers, and double money and quadruple RP on Lamar contact missions. And lastly, the best for last, we have double money NRP on biker business sales, resupply missions, MC clubhouse work, MC challenges, and MC contracts as well. So, wow, good stuff, Rockstar. There's definitely a ton to do this week. In regards to the weekly challenge this week, if you sell 100,000 or more in biker business product, you receive 100,000. And the black 420 hat as well, which looks pretty sick. Continuing to the weekly vehicle robberies from a Savage Yard business, again, these only change once per event week. We have the Duggan robbery with the Camacho the Gangbanger Robbery with the Cypher, and the McTony Robbery with the Furia as well. And sadly, none of these are claimable this week, which is a real shame. It's been over a month since the last claimable vehicle, so yeah, just a real shame that they're waiting so long to do the next one. I guess we'll see what happens next week. Anyways, lastly for the time trials, this week's normal time trial is Casino. I highly recommend a quick bike for this one. For the premium race, we have the Muscle Car Race Muscle Inn. I highly recommend the Dominator GT or the Buffalo STX for this race. And if you're on current gen, I highly recommend using the HSW Vigero ZX. And lastly, for current gen console users, the HSW Time Trial is North Chumash. As always, the HSW Hakachu Dragon will be the best one for these. In terms of my vehicle discount pick of the week, I'm going to have to go with the La Cruz. It's basically the king of the sports class with the HSW upgrade, giving it basically supercar performance. Just an absolute monster. Again, I highly recommend this one. Anyways, guys, overall, this event week, I would say, is one of the best ones we've had in a long time with tons of double money opportunities, including the MC business, some pretty good vehicle discounts, etc. So with that, I'd give this week a solid 8 out of 10. But as always, let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Anyways, again, guys, thanks for watching. Hope this was helpful, and I'll see you in the next one.